Hi everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, the man from Movie Picks and author of the Movie Picks Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements 2026, looking at some of the new AI-based features in the program. In this tutorial, we're gonna look at a couple of the coolest new tools, the generative AI tools. Now these tools will generate images for you based on specifications you provide. You can find both these AI tools, these generative AI tools, in the lower left-hand corner of the toolbar on the left. So I'm going to click generate image and if I've got a photo open it will use the color scheme and look of that photo as a basis for creating the images that I request and I could do that using this photo but instead I'm just going to use a brand new blank slate new blank file web based there we go and then down here on the tool options panel all I need to do is describe the image I want to generate so I can say cat playing with dog and click generate and it will automatically generate an image of a cat playing with a dog. There we go. Now you can see it has a content type option box here and content type will give you either a photo realistic image or an art image. If I were to select art and say generate an image, it's going to generate something that looks a little more like a hand drawing than a photo. And if I were to say get really specific, I could say, I'm switching this back to photo content. I can say Siamese cat playing with beagle. And it will give me a much more specific image. Well, it gave us the beagle. It just didn't give us a very Siamese looking cat. But you get the, uh, you get the idea here. You can be as specific as you want and it will fill in the details for you. Now the other generative IA tool will create an object that overlays your background. So I'm going to just bring up a background here. This background, by the way, is courtesy of Adobe Stock, which is also integrated into the program. And it's a great resource for finding stock photography and other stock images. Really great, well worth checking out Adobe Stock also. But I'm going to select Insert Object and now I'm going to insert an object into this scene and I'm going to in this case insert a jet airliner and I just paint on the scene where I'd like that image to appear and then click generate and the program again is going to look at the color scheme and the lighting and it's going to create an image that fits nicely into that background and not only does it give us an object, but it also gives us four different options here for different airliners. Isn't that cool? Now, Adobe provides you 10 credits a month for creating these images, either one of these images. That's the insert or creating the image from scratch. If you run out, you can purchase more by purchasing a Firefly subscription, which starts at $9.99 a month for 2,000 credits. It's a fun toy, and like I say, you can be as specific as you'd like with it. It's a great way to generate custom images for your precise needs. If you want to know more about the cool tools in Photoshop Elements 2026, I hope you check out the Movie Picks page on YouTube. And if you want to know everything there is to know about the tools and features in this program, I hope you'll check out the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. I'm the author. It's available on Amazon. Hope to see you again soon.